tap or a click. It's fast and easy. This is how we pay in a cashless society today. In fact, it's so convenient that we don't think about data theft. Okay, here's a scenario. Late into the night, you're buried in work and you receive a text from your mother confirming a dinner appointment tomorrow. It's for her birthday and as you happily text her back, you realize you haven't gotten her a gift. You frantically search for one online and after an hour, finally find the perfect gift. An electric toothbrush. She has always wanted one. You proceed to pay. How much personal information could you be giving away when you pay with your credit card? Your credit card number your card's expiration date, your name, all of the above. Did you pick D? That's right. During a credit card data breach, your card information, such as your name, card expiration date, and card number would be exposed, and you may be then at risk of fraud. So is there a way to secure our data? In this episode of Today I Learned on Money Mind, we find out more about the technology that keeps our data safe during transactions. Tokenization. How does tokenization help to secure our personal information during a credit card or e-wallet payment? Here's how it works. As you make the payment, a random set of characters called a token is generated to replace your credit card number. The token value is used as a substitute for real data. These random characters have no useful value if breached and therefore protect your original data. This process is not reversible. And because your original credit card number never gets sent to the merchant, your sensitive data can't be stolen. This might be a foreign concept, but you're probably already making tokenized payments. Apps like Apple Pay, Google Pay and Samsung Pay all use tokenized payments. It has already become industry standard. The way forward, most of the transactions that will take place will be tokenized. We're removing 16-digit card numbers from the ecosystem and we're replacing them with what we call tokens. And that is a much more difficult token to actually decrypt and to hack. Wearable devices are starting to allow for tokenized payments as well. We are bringing fashion and payments into one by incorporating this very thin, flexible chip into various form factors like your watches, your jewelry, your sunglasses. We are using this very niche technology, which is uh, called tokenization. 